vagrant execute command on vm hello guys in this video we'll be talking about common vagrant um, commands that you can execute on virtual machine all right the first command is what you can see here vagrant in it first i'm going to go over all these um commands i'm going to explain each one of them then afterwards we are going to implement them those that take longer time i will just um, show you the output so simple guys the first one is vagrant init this is used to initialize vagrant in a directory and what it does is that it's going to create a vagrant file for you in that directory if you are used to using um jit you know when you run jit init is going to create an a an init um directory however in this case we're going to create a file within that file you get all the settings you need to fire up a vagrant vm in that directory so that's what vagrant init does and when you are when you are running it you are going to run it with a um a vagrant image usually vagrant image is just an operating system then the names of the image will be different depending on the operating system you are using and the person that hosted the um, image on vagrant cloud so you to be vagrant in it slash users name slash operating system name so i'll show you that later on the second command is vagrant up after initializing vagrant the next thing you have to do is to bring up the fashion machine so vagrant up is just like you pressing the power button on your computer system so it's going to fire up and bring up the virtual machine if you are doing that for the first time it's going to do some installation and some downloads so it might take a while however if i doing it maybe afterwards it will be just be like um simple click and run stuff so the third command is vagrant ssh um ssh is just you know when you power on your computer physical machine you still have to sign in using your username and password that's what Vagrant SSH does. It's going to sign you in as a Vagrant user. So that's that. And the third and uh, the fourth um, command here is Vagrant Alt. This is used to shut down the Vagrant. This one is power on. This one is sign in. This one is shut down. It's like shut, you're shutting down your virtual machine or your physical machine. And Vagrant Destroy. This one is used to destroy your virtual machine. The, just to delete it from the virtual um, virtualizer uh, hypervisor in this case i'm using um virtual box so if i should run virtual uh, vagrant destroy it's going to delete it for me just like me the same thing as me just right clicking and removing it from my system so that's that the sixth command and mind you this sixth com this six commands are the basic things you'll be using almost regularly regularly because after signing into your vagrant machine just run it if it's a, a windows machine you'll be using your default uh, uh, windows um maybe commands or your drag and uh, click click you get but if it is um a linux command you'll be using your default linux commands to operate the vm after signing in so these are the common uh, commands you'll be using just in the vagrant environment after leaving the vagrant environment you can use whatever um commands depending on operating system you install on the vagrant um, environment so the last one is vagrant reload which is just to reboot the vagrant the virtual machine you've created with this vagrant file all right i will be showing you each one of these and um i'll be explaining more about that so i have my um no vagrant is a command line um application so you use it via the command line so i've done some of the things so as to save us some time you can just um implement it the first command that i explained to you is vagrant in it so when you run vagrant in it you have to provide a vagrant image name and to get a, a vagrant image name you can uh, just go to app.vagrant and you know you don't you don't need that you can come to vagrantup.com then click on five boxes is going to take you to this place it's going to bring you to this page and on this page you can search for whatever image you want image is just simply an operating system so just search for whatever operating system you want for example you can search for ubuntu 
and you get that just whatever operating system you want me i'm using um centuries and i can install ubuntu as well but this one i have installed see vagrant class is red hat centuries as you can see this red hat this one i installed it manually using um just um using um new you understand that manual installation vagrant is um at an automated way of installing uh, virtual machines so that's the first command the second command which i would like to explain to you is um after running that is going to provide a vagrant file so before if you notice before i run this vagrant in it there was nothing in this directory as you can see ls showed nothing so after i installed um i initialized vagrant then it set up um, a vagrant file which after running ls you see the vagrant file all right the next command is version vagrant up which i explained that it's like you powering up your version um, physical machine so when you press uh, when you type in vagrant up is going to download the image specified in this initialization then use the image to set up a virtual machine for you and when that is done the next command you need to run is vagrant ssh and ssh is what you sign you in as a user onto the virtual machine so it is as simple as that so i have a um, vagrant ssh now i've signed in signing as a user then you can do whatever since because um this is uh, a linux operating system centos is a linux is rpm linux center operating system so after signing in the next set of things that i'll be doing is using linux commands so that's what you can see all of these are linux commands sudo you get so that is that and then um, the other the next command after vagrant up is vagrant out to shoot to shut down you can see attempting grace to shut down when you run that, that this is what you see and that's why you are seeing this as powered off because i shut it down and then the next command which i haven't implemented i haven't implemented is um reload which is to reload and destroy to delete so quickly i'm going to show you uh um, vagrant up to bring it up again and if i should run that you notice that this will be running at the moment it's powered off so if i should type vagrant up you can see pretty soon it will be running now let's wait a while and see can see starting pretty soon it to be running now it's running so the virtual machine is up now the next command i will have to do when this is done is vagrant ssh to sign in you know when you power on your computer system you can't just start using it except if you don't have um, a um an authentication set on on that but with this especially linux is very secured so i will have to sign in using vagrant ssh so you can see it's running now i can sign in and start using the virtual machine just like a regular linux machine it is as simple as that guys and just like every other commands that i've listed here you can destroy you can reload with all of this so you can see i mean login last login the last time i logged in so now i am in the machine now so let me see my home directory my root directory i'm in the root directory can you see all of these are uh, linux um, directories so that is that guys i will see you in the next video bye for now